What's going on everybody? So today I got home from work and a lot of you know that I do lawn care now and everything like that. So I decided to treat myself to a new little toy not long ago. I decided to buy this Polaris Sportsman four-wheeler for myself. I was just like, yeah, you know, why not? And the other night we went out, went mudding and uh, got a lot of mud up in my radiator. It started overheating. So I decided I was going to order some new parts for myself. And they came in today right when I got home. The mail lady pulled up and I was like, yes! I ran out, grabbed my parts, and now I just I want to unbox them for you guys. So let's unbox this Look shit. Look at that. Here is the new Polaris that I got. Now I already took some of the front end off, like up there and everything. So don't mind those plastics are gone. But it's got these big ass fucking tires. Doesn't get stuck on anything. This dude built this crazy bash bar in the rear and shit. And let's just say that I ordered a four inch lift kit, which is in one of those little boxes. And up here it's got a big old bash bar as well. Shit looks fucking badass. I'm just, I took off the whole rack piece just so I get to the radiator because in that little box right there is my radiator relocation kit. So we're gonna go through this in a minute and open that up. And I think this is my lift kit. And I think that that right there, because it says, Soundstorm Laboratories is probably my sound bar. Let's get to unboxing this shit right now. Right about now. All right, guys, let's get the knife out and let's go ahead and cut this guy open. So, like I said, this should be the Wild Boar um, Radiator Relocation Kit for the Flare Sportsman. And I picked it up on eBay. It was like 200 bucks. I think it's well worth it because when you start overheating shit, God, it is not fun. Like we were out in the middle of nowhere and I had no idea where I was. And uh, yeah, just start overheating. So that was not fun, but oh my God, look at how pretty this is. Whoa. That, my friends, is nice. The finish on it too. Oh my God. The finish is just amazing. Like I said, this finish is just really, really nice. I like how they did that. All right, so get that piece out of the way. That looks really sweet. What else came in this kit? All right, these are probably the end plates. Whoa. I just like to throw shit around. I just don't even care. Yep, there we go. Wild boar. That is sweet. That looks really, really nice. And it's got the same coating as the other one. Now I had heard from somebody else that they had gotten two of the same side. So now I'm just double checking. Yep, okay. Wait. Did they did they make that mistake? No, they didn't. Okay, thank God. I was like, oh no, that is not good. Yeah, because somebody else had ordered the same kit and they got two of the same side. And I was like, oh man, I really hope they don't do that. Thank God. All right, let's get this crap out of our way. Came with the longer hoses, so that's nice. Don't have to worry about buying new hoses. Oh man, a whole fucking bag of parts. Look at those. So that's like every single little thing that we need to get this guy running. They even put wire in there. That's nice. I'm guessing that's for your fans and everything. That's really cool. And is that detailed? In oh my God, they actually gave detailed instructions? Wow. And then these are probably the plates that hold everything together. Well, guys, that is the radiator relocation kit. That is really nice. I'll do a follow-up video once we put this on and everything, which I'm probably going to do that later on today. But after I get all this on the four-wheeler, I'll do a, do a little video of it on there and everything, show you what it looks like and all that stuff. And let's keep unboxing shit. Why don't we? Let's, let, let's go with the lift kit uh, next. I think we're going, going to go with the lift All right, guys, kit. on to the lift kit. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass for me to uh, cut this open while I'm, while I'm holding you guys. So bear with me here. I'm going to see if I can wrap this guy up around here. Nope, that's not going to work. Well, here we go. I got this. I know how to solve this problem. We got a tripod. Let's use it. Boom! All right, dig into this little guy. Oh my God, look at that. It's a box inside of a box. Wow. Okay, this is just not going too swell. Get in there. All right. Let's see what we have here. Yep, this, is, this would be our lift kit. Now this is a generic one off of eBay. I think I paid like 60 bucks for it. What was this? Black Path Racing. 
So if you guys want to check them out, I'll let you know how this kit does. I just decided, you know, why not order the cheap kit and see what it does, see if it's a pile of junk, and then I can kind of review it for you guys and let you know if it's a total piece of shit or if it's actually worth buying. So these are, is this a whole instruction thing? What do we have here? Is this, they actually gave us instructions. See, that's great. When an eBay company actually gives you instructions, that is awesome. So, so far I'm going to go ahead and say that this is an A-plus kit because you really can't mess this up too bad on making these. I mean, it's, it's literally just making fucking parts, guys. It's not hard to cut these out. Like, come on. So, unless these guys are total fuck-ups, this kit should be great. Let's see what this is. This should be our space for pieces into here yep and they are aluminum so that's real nice all right guys sorry about the chopper going overhead i'm in the flight path of uh this college and everything and they use this all the time they'll just fly crap over my house it's annoying but yeah so those are real nice aluminum real lightweight and those are those are steel but yeah, so that's, that's a decent little kit. Not too bad. Like I said, once I get this on the four-wheeler, I'll actually do a whole review for you guys and show you, like, you know, it on the four-wheeler, how it's working, and I'll definitely review it and tell you if it's a total piece of shit or not. All right, my favorite part, the sound stuff. Let's get to that next. Right. On to the Soundstorm Laboratories. Like I said, this has got to be my sound bar. This was cheap. This is a cheap one, guys. This is not the boss audio like everybody likes to get. I decided I was going to go with a real generic eBay one just so that it was cheap because I didn't feel like spending the money because I'm a broke ass. And two, because I figured that I can do some rude little review for you guys on one of these cheap ones and I guarantee you it's as good as the Boss. Now I've had a Boss system on my old four-wheeler, so yes, I do know what they're like. Oof. It looks really good just on the box. All right, let's get this out of here. All right. Now that we got that out, now you can see the whole box and everything. SSL, so that's the Soundstorm Laboratories. It is Bluetooth as well, which is real nice. I was looking for something with Bluetooth. I didn't want to run a cord. I didn't want to have to put a little box up front that I got to put my phone in and everything and, you know, actually connect it. And, oh, it's such a pain in the ass. Like, you know, just, just give me Bluetooth. So that's exactly what I got. I just decided to go with the Bluetooth one. It is much more practical for anybody. I mean, really, why would you, with all the... With all the damn technology we have nowadays, why would you not make Bluetooth? Why? All right. Well, they've got real nice packaging in here. Okay, so that's all of our junk down there. All right, get that out of our way. Let's get that out of our way. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll toss this one too. Like, you know, what was, get, get out of here. Huh. Hi, Dooley. Okay, back to what we were doing over here. Let's get this little sucker out. Oh, man. Look at how nice that looks. Now, my old boss system, I had bought used, so I have never, ever, ever seen a brand new one. So that just looks so nice to me. Jeez, that is sweet. Check that out. Let's set that right there. Not too shabby. Now I've got it upside down, as you can see. Uh, it says boom tube, <laughs> but it's upside down. So yeah, you got your uh, your cigarette lighter plug in, and then you got your aux cord in. I'm guessing once you turn it on, it's Bluetooth right away. Like you know, you just jump into it. But looks like they've got a whole bunch of different little connector pieces in here straps to use big old zip ties that's a decent little kit not bad guys not bad like i said once i get this on there i'll let you know how it goes because i'm really really excited for this really excited okay well next video we will show you that you could go ahead and like and subscribe down below if you like this channel i'm going to do a lot more videos on the four wheeler a lot more videos recently like i i just haven't been keeping up with it i've been so busy with the lawn care stuff so, you know, I'm getting back into the videos. I'm so sorry about that, guys. I know we're almost up to 1,000 subscribers. Almost 1,000. I never would have thought that any day in my life 1,000 people would have given a shit 
about what I'm doing. So this is really cool. Thank you guys. Thanks to all of you. Like without you guys, I wouldn't be doing this, which is really cool. So, all right, guys, stay tuned for the next episode. Like and subscribe down below. Click that button and I'll see you on the next one. Peace, guys.